So this is the offending article. As you can see, it's now in two pieces. I'm not quite sure how it got broken. This bit's all nasty and black now because to get it off they had to heat it. It wouldn't come off. Now I've sort of worked out where it's supposed to go. I've put a line there, a registry, registry line, but it's not a very good fit. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, grind these flat, both ends, so that it doesn't matter where they go. And then I'm going to drill and tap both ends, put a an HT stud in, screw it together and then braise it. That's the theory. So let's have a go. See if I can just gently level this out. That'll probably do it. Yep, that'll do. They come together quite nicely now. Very little in the way of gap there. So that'll do. So let's clean this one up so that the braise will hold. Don't want any muck on it so that it's. Um, You know, causes uh, any trouble with the flux. That'll do. Cleaned up nicely. Let's see if we can find the centre. Thanks to Perry, SW Dweeb, I have a centre finder. Yes, Perry, it does get used. And this scriber I've got fits perfectly in that groove. So it should be pretty accurate. Accurate enough for me anyway. We don't have very fine tolerances in this shop. making sure that that's about where I want it. Right. Let's hope they're good enough. I'm going to put a 5mm uh, stud in here. I think that'll be about ample. I think 6 would be a little bit too big. Wouldn't leave much meat around the outside. So, it's a 4.2 drill for a 5mm tap. going it doesn't seem to want to go there we go check that it's straight both directions as well. Right, so the stud I've got, if it will 
focus, come on focus, is basically just an HT bolt with the head cut off. So there's nothing fancy. Do it up nice and tight. Look at that, that's pretty good. I'm pleased with that, considering it's all just eyeballed. Not bad at all. So let's get it in the vise, see if we can braze her up, finish the job off. I'm going to get it hot from both sides so that the solder will run right the way around or right the way through. That's got it. You can see it went then. So we'll let that cool down. Took quite a while to cool down actually, surprisingly. Now it looks like it's got it. I've got a nice lump on the back there where it ran right the way around. So we'll give it a file up and try and clean her up. That's come up quite nice. You'd hardly notice it was it had been repaired. In fact, if you didn't know, you probably wouldn't spot it. I know, obviously, because I know exactly where it's joined, but that don't look too bad to me. Not bad at all. So I'm going to give it the whole of it a, a bit of a clean up, tidy up. Just use this Scotch Bright type wheel. It's not a Scotch Bright, but it's that type of thing. If you look in my Amazon shop, you'll see them there if you want to buy one. They're really useful. I use them all the time. I buy two or three at a time. There you go. Give it a polish up now. I don't want to spend too much time on this because this is one of those jobs that the time you put in you can't really charge for because it's just not, you know, not a big enough job really. But I want to make sure the job's done properly. So there we go. Have a look in the daylight. Pucker, that is. I haven't taken all of the dings and knocks and bangs out because at the end of the day it is a Victorian safe. It doesn't want to look like it's brand new. So give that a few months to dull down. No one will ever know that uh, anything happened to it. I'm quite pleased with that. Let's hope the client will be. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next one.